this for the guys. Like, you ever want to impress your girl? Just be like, better crash out while you still young. You cry twice over two different females? <laughs> Bro! Every guy need a villain arc. Let's talk about college. That's a good question. And that's why he was the perfect parent. What's up, everybody? We back with it on the DCL podcast. We got Sebastian and Arion on it again. I'll allow them to introduce themselves. Sebastian Moore, 6'5", 99 overall shooting guard. Yeah, I'm just at 99 overall. Arian, Arian Garrett. I say I'm a humble 92 overall, basketball-wise. PG, you know, I'm controlling the ball. Follow that? <laughs> I had y'all on my fifth podcast, and Smooth. now I'm at, like, number 20-something. How's life been since? Smooth, man. Still out here in school, finna finish up and everything. Still making plays. All good things. Yeah, we just chilling. Just working, school. Can't do much more than that shit. Facts. So, what you guys studying? Business admin. Communications. What are you plan on doing with that? Off the rip, probably go ahead and get an office job, get on salary, stack the bread. And then once I uh, feel comfortable with my bank account, then that's when I could really start looking at things I want to do that's fun and make money. I like that, Ariana. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Me personally, though, I don't know yet. Some with sports, but we're going to see, man. There's a lot of ways I could go about it, but ain't too sure about one specific thing yet. Like sports broadcasting? More like sports marketing. Mm. I can't really do the, the broadcasting and, like, news area of that <laughs> aspect, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just ain't that person. What y'all watch? <laughs> like what? Like sports. Oh, boxing. Shit. Everything. Everything. If it's money on the line, we watch it. <laughs> I'm getting fucked if it fuck was on. camera racing. I'll be on that fan door. That'd be where at, at, man. That'd be feeding me, man. Paying the bills. <laughs> It be paying the bills? Paying the bills. <laughs> I'll be on that. It'd be fun, though, like, when you hit it. Hey, shout out hard. That man be having the locks. Football, my favorite to watch because it's, like, once a week. I like basketball, but basketball got 82 games, so it's just hard. I could watch a playoff baseball sometime, depending on the teams. UFC. Soccer. Soccer every four years in the World Cup or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tennis. Shout out Coco. She just won. Uh, what's that one she just won? I don't know. Damn. The sister, you don't know the, the sister that just won. Uh, Damn. She might be a sister, but I don't know what she won. She won that tennis tournament. Damn. Can't think. Was it the Open? The U.S. Open? Might have been. Yeah. Shout out Coco. Represent. Thank Black you. Power. Man, how old are y'all? 22. I don't know if I want to disclose that information. 22. <laughs> All right. I'm 20 years old. Hey, so we back with on the DCL podcast. We about to be talking just about life. We're all in our early 20s talking about everything we've learned, things we've been through, experiences we've had. We're just going from there. What would you guys say was your most significant moment in your young adult years that really made you who you are? A moment that really just defines you, a moment that really sparked the side of you, you maybe didn't even think you know you had. That's a good-ass question. How, uh, how, <laughs> it was how, off the how, bat, how, too, like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was, that was a good story. <laughs> I'll say, like, not a specific moment, but being able to learn how to be silent and, like, keep calm in situations where I be getting mad and shit. I grew up with a very bad attitude. Being able to grow up and just realize when to be silent. Just emotional intelligence. That's probably the best thing I've learned as I've been growing up so far. The same kind of shit with me, like, really thinking, like, trying to use a lot of my brain. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... You got somebody on that. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. No. Damn, man. <laughs> so gonna cut this out. You gonna cut this out. Yeah, we gonna cut it out. <laughs> nah, don't cut it out, bro. They will be watching that shit. Like, Damn, that nigga still ain't got that shit up his lip. <laughs> Is it gone, nigga? <laughs> yeah, it's gone. Yeah, growing up, I was very intelligent. I was very smart. I was really advanced earlier in life. I was you know, seven, eight, nine, ten years old with no parents inside the house raising younger siblings. So, like, I was very intelligent and I knew what I was doing, but I was emotionally dumb. I knew the answer to that math problem. I knew this. I knew that. But I didn't know how to control my emotions. I would, you know, outrage, all that stuff. A significant event that really changed, like, a lot was my dad, right? Mm -hmm. So, my dad, what he used to do is, when I used to get in trouble, we would sit and just talk. But we wouldn't talk for five, ten minutes. We would hours. talk for five, six hours sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. not, not five, six hours every time, but he, we were damn near talking two hours minimum, like, every single time I did some stuff, for real, for real. He would talk to me and give me life in a way that most people don't give their kids life. Mm -hmm. He helped me a lot because I ain't going to lie. I was a wild 
kid. You feel me? And I, yeah. I used to snap out. The overall me leaving my house, like when I went to college, like not living with my family made me see them as like humans instead of like my family members. Once you view your parents as like human beings and not your mom and dad, that's when you start be like, oh shit. Shit just feel weird once you separate the two. So that that's when I start thinking about shit and I'm like, all right, I got to do good for myself. And like, I'm not going to hold my parents to like certain standards that I think, you know what I'm saying? They're just human beings. You know, mm -hmm. my family members are just human beings. So like as children, we feel like, oh, my parents could never do this wrong. If they do us wrong, then you're so hurt. You're so hurt. You're so hurt. Mm -hmm. Really, they're just human beings doing their part or trying to, you know what I'm saying? When I moved out, I felt like I had to do more. I have to do, be better and stuff like that so I can make it proud and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Cute. I couldn't relate to what you were saying at first because I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but then, like, now my dad did something completely different. Like, my dad would sit me at the table directly, you know what I mean, when I'm 12 years old. And he said, you know, I'm not perfect. He said, I don't do everything right, but I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure you have a better life. I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure you have a perfect life. And that's why he was the perfect parent, because he would admit to his mistakes. And he said, I'm not perfect. I don't want you to be me. I want you to be you. I want you to learn from my mistakes. And that's why I feel like that. I'm in the position I am today. Yeah, that's good because a lot of people don't get that, like, same parenting. Motherfuckers just got them parents who just do the bare minimum, take care of them. And the bare minimum is, like, legit taking care of, like, your House, kids. clothes, food. A lot of people see that as, like, a plus nowadays, but it's like, you made that person. Like, that's your responsibility. You're supposed to be providing them with everything they can until they can provide for themselves. Yeah, a lot of people ain't get that parenting where it's like the deep conversations, like the um the life lessons, the specific lessons, like just every tidbit thing that you learn, a lot of people ain't get that. I did, but with that, it came with the belt. Sometimes I wasn't listening because the belt was really just like, that's the only thing I was hearing. When you think about it, like later in life, you like, you'd like be like, damn, they told me that for a reason. like, And that's why I was getting punished the way I was so it can like be implemented, like instilled in my brain. My pops used to tell me, he used to say, you're not going to get it now. He said, you're going to be mad at me now. But when you get older, you're going to understand. Um, bro, <laughs> yeah, literally. I never thought the shit that my parents were saying what really, like, happened. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm sitting back like, damn. As we mature up, this when we start realizing. And then also, the biggest step is, like, getting out your parents' house. Not just getting out your parents' house as in, oh, I'm moving into the dorm, but getting your own spot mm -hmm. and being financially independent. Like, that's actually a really big step. And there's a lot of people our age that still don't have that. And they still have everything kind of, like, taken care of for them. Mm -hmm. Growing up, bro, like, this shit's hard, bro. It's harder than people think. Like getting out and actually paying bills, paying phone bills, life insurance, health insurance, paying all that. Like, bro, life is a lot harder than people think. Um, bro, I'm finna get up and go to Europe. I ain't paying no health insurance, go to no Canada. taxes. Yeah, Canada, Fucking taxes. Paying, boy. Go to Canada. I'm going to London. Talking about moving? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's going to be out of Illinois for sure, but I was just doing some for research. Sure. I ain't going to go on like a whole rant, but just like, for example, like income tax. What you're talking about in Illinois? Yeah, we get bro. Taxes, yeah. taxes is crazy. Bro, hey. bro, taxes is crazy. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you go. Like, I see. I already know. I ain't gonna like get on like the whole like Illinois breakdown of what's bad. I mean, Illinois is a beautiful state, but then again, yeah. it's just like when you grow up, bro, you start taking care of your own business. Like, damn, like in a different state, I would be straight. It's not as bad as like fucking Chicago, or fucking you know Chicagoland area. Just cause like all the violence and shit that be happening out there. But it's just like, for example, we got income tax, bro. What the fuck am I paying? income tax for when I'm already getting taxed on my checks. That's like paying taxes like twice. In Texas, you only get taxed federally. But out here, you get state taxes state tax, and federal, federal. taxes. Yeah. I'm like, what? Like, Man. when I moved out here, bro, like, I'm like, all right, I'm used to the federal taxes being taken on my check, mm -hmm. but now you're taking state taxes too? Double taxes you're paying out here. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Man, when that time comes around, you got to pay your taxes. The fuck am I paying taxes for? You're already taking them out the check. That shit don't make sense. I get that with the deductibles or whatever. Like, what they do is they take a certain amount out your check. Mm -hmm. And if they don't take enough out your check, then they charge you for more. And also, for us, we're fucked. Because once we become a dependent and, like, have kids and stuff, that's when, like, you get tax breaks and stuff. But right now, we're paying a lot of taxes. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm, I'm finna, finna get up. up. <laughs> I'm saying I'm finna move up out of here. <laughs> move to fucking France or some shit. Move to, move to a little village in Italy. Yeah, that's the goal. Sebastian's speaking French now. <laughs> Man, I just got out of French for it, bro. I really, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Say something. I ain't gonna say nothing just because, like, what, just, nigga? Just, say what you learned, nigga. 
<laughs> say a couple words. Folk. Say a couple words. You know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. <clears throat> this for the guys. Like you ever want to impress a girl? Just be like, it's your town. And then she can be like, what does that mean? Be like, I love you. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then she can be like, oh, where'd you learn that? Tell them you came from Jamin Podcast. You learned it from Bash, dude. <laughs> Bro, I need all my I courage. <laughs> Let's talk about college. No, you get the fuck up out of here. College, no matter where you go, really, is about, like, growing up. First time getting away from, like, what you're comfortable. Pretty much making your own decisions. Decisions you have to live with. Because, like, when you were in your parents' grip, shit is kind of controlled. But then you get out, you have to make the best decisions. And then the decisions that you make, they're going to stick with you forever. And it's, like, good or bad. Bad decisions are going to stick with you forever. And your good decisions. Once I look back, I can see myself, like, growing each year. Like, I'm still the same person. I'm still the same... Still the same young nigga. Stay, still the same goofy ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? You just got to get out there, man. Throw yourself out there. The situations is what's going to make you grow and shit. I won't say throw yourself into, like, crazy situations, but just, you know, get out there, meet so-and-so, meet different people, you know, tag along with some new people sometimes. Um, Get to see how different people are. Being in college, it made me see how, like, different people was raised. In certain situations, you can't be really mad at people because they didn't learn the same things you learned coming from where you from. So it's just like sometimes you got to be patient. I'm still trying to work on that. But, yeah, definitely learning patience is like a big thing that I learned um, being out here, especially seeing the crazy shit, too. You'd be like, damn. Everyone was raised differently. Why I don't get too mad at people when they do things is because I would do the same thing that they did if I were in their position and had their life because they made that decision. You would have did the same thing. If you had their life experiences, if you've been through what they've been through, you were handed that situation and their mind and their predicament, you would have done the same thing that they did. So that's why I am very understanding of people. The people who didn't ever go through shit, those be the people who be like tools, straight knuckleheads. NPCs. Just average people. Nigga ain't got no season. No. Yeah, everyone need a little trauma just to sprinkle a little, a, a little personality <laughs> into you. You feel me? Look, the reason you is who you is now is because you caught that bitch too early. You should just play, let it play out. Every guy need a villain arc. Yeah, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you got to have your heart broken or some shit at least once. And it better be early, too. Because if it ain't early and it's later, that mean what? You going to crash out later in life. Better crash out while you still young. No consequences. <laughs> look, yeah. Hey, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. While you still young, you can crash out and you can do a lot of bullshit. But once you get older, say you like 26 and you get your first heartbreak or like bitch cheating on you or some shit, you going to be, you going to be down bad. Look, you got work in the morning. Can't go to work because he's so hurt. Get hurt early, please. Go get that girl. Let her break your heart real quick. Psh. Get that shit out the way. Be sad for like four months. Four months is long. Four months is long as quit filtering it. Do that shit at least once. Make it hard. Make it good. Make it hard. Have that one. Because mm-hmm. it's going to happen and, one time, bro. And, and it's going to happen, bro. And look, and never do it again. Better not let that shit happen. No, nah, if they have it, do it again. again. You cry twice over two different females. <laughs> the first would be the craziest though, because you don't even know. You be going to puberty, going, <laughs> going through all type of emotions and shit. You be like, what's going on? <laughs> You be like, hey, but sometimes the second one be even worse because then the second one like uh, show you that she not the first one and, and you you give it all in nah, word. Nah, I, but once you get caught twice, bro, like it's like now yeah. you gotta know. After the first one, you gotta accept things and you could never be how you was. Like you gotta know your role and like understand shit gonna be shit. It don't even have to be about girls. After some bad thing that happened in your life and you react a certain way, you can never react that way again because you already understand the situation. Calm, understanding, accepting, and then keep going. I hate when I see people get down bad because they have one bad experience. That's the shit that's supposed to push you for. Cry for two days. Get up and keep going. There's a lot of stuff to do out here. Go hang with your friends. Go hang with your parents. Go hang with your sisters, brothers. Bro. You could do a lot of shit. Like just you off the house being a bitch. Just let the expressions out. Let it go. Boom. Get back to rolling. It's life, man. It is what it is. You got to be happy it happened to you. Motherfuckers don't let that shit ruin them. Ruin them. But most will bounce back with some time, but it just really depends on how much time it take you. Mm-hmm. It takes some people a few days, they get over it. Or it takes some people a few months and they just down bad over the situation. Mm-hmm. But out here, you mm-hmm. see that shit. Motherfucker come outside the next day, they life changed. <laughs> Whole 180. That girl don't want to be like how she was yesterday. Or that dude don't want to be as tough as he was. Shit like that. Nah, yeah, nigga, you was just tough as hell. I've changed. <laughs> nah, nigga, come out. Come here and pray <clears throat> with me. Nah, nah nigga, we was just beefing yesterday. I'm a changed man. <laughs> <laughs> Life is all about experiences and how you deal with it. Once you learn how to deal with situations, you'll be unstoppable. Wise words from A Money.
All it is, man, I'm just trying to put y'all on game, show y'all the way, how to be calm, how to be funny, how to be goofy, how to be serious. And just to the environment. Just to the environment, man. That's all it is. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Tune in to the DCL podcast. Check out our old one. It's number five. That one's a banger as well. Ariane Garrett, A-R-I-O-N, Garrett, G-A-R-R-O-T-T. Go ahead, follow me, man. Like a couple pictures. Sebastian Moore with two S's. Have a good one. See you. We out.